Hello world, Shelly here and it's time for another episode of Foundation Fest and today I'm checking out one from the drugstore that's been around for a couple years but I've never tried it. They did recently launch a new shade in the very darker end of the spectrum. Bravo, we are talking about the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Treatment Makeup. Retails for $14.99 for one fluid ounce of product. Comes in 16 different shades now. I've got it in the lightest cool shade, which is 112. They say the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Treatment Makeup is a super concentrated formula with goji berry that hydrates the skin while the exclusive applicator oh, sponge covers, fills, and smooths to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Looking through the ingredients, it looks like your typical dimethicone-based formula. I don't see any added fragrance. It does have some fruit extracts like they mentioned. So we will take a look at this one swatched against a few others in my collection. Swatch time. First up is today's foundation from Maybelline, the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Treatment Makeup in shade 112. Second I've got from Estee Lauder, the Double Wear Stay in Place in 1C1 Cool Bone. Third up is Max Studio Sculpt in NW15. And last, I've got from Wet n Wild, the Tinted Hydrator in Fair. I've already cleansed, moisturized, and sunscreened this 49-year-old face. I have primed with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base because I am super dry right now. Uh, excuse the disaster going on here. Trigger warning, pet loss. I will put a timestamp on the screen if you want to skip this very brief little bit that I'm about to discuss. Um, but my eyes are puffy. I've got, you know, all the crying marks around my eyes. I slept in my makeup and then three like white closed comedomes popped up. My cat Polly, not Ziva, one of my other cats, Polly, uh, died unexpectedly yesterday. Cancer. I keep my language on this channel clean, so I will not say any more about that, but if you saw my Instagram yesterday, uh, you know my thoughts. Uh, very Happened very fast, very unexpected. I'm not going to talk about it anymore uh, because I will cry. And uh, she had a tumor in her larynx that was inoperable and was she couldn't swallow and she was having trouble breathing. So. Hug your furry friends, your feathered friends, your scaled friends, your human friends. Hug yourself. Hug your Jeep. Hug whatever you love because uh, the things you love are not guaranteed to be there tomorrow. So, okay. Thank you for uh, letting me distract myself with uh, sharing makeup with you guys. Because I love you guys, and uh, I hope you're here tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, let's let's get back to makeup because I'm just gonna I'm gonna lose it. Mm. That's why my face is a mess. But I've got the lightest shade in the cool range. Let's get some of this up here. You know, you just twist it a bunch until the product comes up. I'm not a fan of sponge applicators. I'm just not. I think what I'm going to do, I don't think I'm going to be able to apply the whole bit of the sponge side with this sponge. So I think I will use my, I just have a dry sponge here on one side and then we will go over with a brush on the other. This is my BK Beauty 101 favorite foundation brush of late. And... So let's just, oh, that, that's a lot right there. So I'm just going to stop dabbing that because that, that, well, it looks like a lot. Maybe it's not as much as I thought it was. It looks like a lot of products. Am I just losing my mind? I don't know. Yeah, see that, like the sponge, I don't think you can really apply with it. Like you can dab it on, but I feel like you wouldn't be able to blend it out with that sponge because it's not spongy enough. I don't know. Is that... Am I making any sense? God, my forehead feels like it's bruised. That's how bad it's been. Whew. I'm not going to totally use this as concealer 
because I'm also going to film a new concealer review from the drugstore today. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. I would was just about to show it to you, but I already lost it. <laughs> Here it is. I think this is it. Flexwear full cover. It's one of the Revlon Colorstay, uh, Colorstay line. So I would call this light coverage with the sponge. I'm getting a little bit of polka dot pores on my nose, but uh, hi, Ziva. Say hi to your friends. Give them some proof of life. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd say light coverage with the sponge. Let's get a little bit more up here and try the brush side. I don't, I don't smell anything. I know it didn't have any fragrance listed, but sometimes fragrance ingredients can be tricky because, you know, there's the generic where they just have to say fragrance, but then there's also like, if they don't want to put the word fragrance in the ingredients, they can use actual ingredients that are there for the purpose of giving it a scent. You know what I'm saying? So even though in this case, the goji berry is, there for skincare, but I thought maybe I'd be able to smell it, uh, but I can't, so it doesn't really smell like anything to me. Oh yeah, I think there is, as expected, slightly higher coverage with the brush application. I actually like the finish of the brush a little bit better as well. I just want to point out something strange that's happening on my packaging here. Uh, it's leaking out the bottom of the sponge as well as where it's supposed to come out. So that's kind of a bummer. I'm just gonna try and, you know, not waste that. Let's, well, I'm just gonna use my fingers here now because that started happening. <laughs> Let's try and even out my coverage just a little bit. And I'm gonna stick with the brush because I think I like the brush application just a smidge better. This shade I would say is a winter shade for me. It's probably a smidge too light for the rest of the year, but it'll work just fine for February, <laughs> which this winter has been cold in Virginia and it's not warming up as quickly as I would like. Although my daffodils, you know, the leaves, what do you call them? I guess they're leaves. The green parts have uh, sprouted, started to sprout out of the ground this week. So there's that. Yeah, I definitely like the brush application better. And I think we, we're probably approaching medium coverage. I always look at my sunspots here. I can still see the darkest of them, but they're they're pretty decently covered up at this point. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, zoom you guys in and you can see what I'm seeing. It looks with two layers just a little heavy. Like I can see the product on my nose. That's really the main part where I see it. I see it a little bit on my texture, but it is doing a decent job at smoothing pores, blurring them out a bit, and it's a little clingy to, like, my chin area has a little bit of spot to it, and my nose feels like it's on the verge of some polka dot pores. It just looks a little smidge heavy in a couple of places. We will see if that settles down a little bit because sometimes it just needs to warm up to your body temperature and kind of melt into your skin a bit and then you kind of lose that, that problem-ish look, that heavy-ish look, but the coverage is nice and the finish is nice. I would just call it like a natural satin. It doesn't really have a lot of reflect to it, so it's not really a dewy finish. I wouldn't call it matte though. It doesn't look flat. It doesn't, it's not taking the life out of me. So, and it's covering everything up. So let's take a look at what time it is. It is 1.50 p.m. Let me go put the rest of my face on. I will be right back. Back with the eraser treatment makeup from Maybelline. Unfortunately, this hasn't, melted together or done any of that good stuff. I actually kind of like it less than I did. 
it's really heavy looking on my nose and it's like accentuating my smile lines over here, kind of freezing them. But then when I try to, you can see I, I just touched it and I've, I've removed product. And I filmed two other videos since you've last seen me. So this face has been on for at least an hour. And so I really don't like that bit of transfer that I'm getting. That's, that's a little bit alarming, uh, but it's not settling into lines. That's, that's just, that's where we're at right now. But this face, let me tell you some things. Balm Desert Bronzer, love it. Lawless Juicy Watermelon Blush, love it. OMG. I'm gonna wipe it off so you get the full beauty because I got my fingerprints all over it. Oh, it's beautiful. What's up, beauty? They're highlighters. They have a line of highlighters called the Serengeti line. And this line of highlighters is... Uh, a portion of the sales are donated to conservation causes to help the cheetahs in the Serengeti. Uh, the Serengeti Cheetah Project of Tanzania. And, okay, first, let's appreciate this packaging. Look at how pretty. I don't even know if you're getting the full impact of this rose gold... Oh, it's just pretty. And that's not even the best part. I gasped when I opened it for the first time. Because... Oh, <laughs> it's a cheetah. Look at how pretty. <sighs> My nails are a mess. I picked them all off. It's been a bad week. But this... And <laughs> I'm so emotional right now that like... <laughs> I almost cried when I opened. I'm almost crying. Oh my god, just make it stop. Anyway, it's gorgeous. Look at my face. Like, even on the textured side of my face. Look how smooth. This stuff has squalane in it. Weren't we just talking about squalane in makeup? It's hydrating, smoothing. It's beautiful. They have several shades. They sent me this one, and they sent me another one that I did not open yet. This one is... Wild Acacia. I'm probably saying it wrong. And the other one I got is Safari Sunset. Should I just open it and show you guys? Because it's so... Oh. It makes me want to cry. Oh, it's just a little deeper. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> oh, this is the deeper one. It's just a little more pink and a little touch of gold in the cheetah instead of the more silvery white. <sighs> Thank you, What's Up Beauty. They did send me these in PR. <sighs> Thank you for supporting the cheetahs. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh, it makes me want to cry. On my eyes. This came from my Ipsy. I did film this eye look. Check it out next week. Oh, this palette is good. Ace Beauty, Black-owned brand, Happy Black History Month, Mystic Romance. First off, the packaging. Gorgeous, right? Then, the palette. I, let me just say, well first, it's giving me total ABH Modern Renaissance vibes, which is kind of what I went with with this eye look. But here's the thing, the colors in this are so well curated that most eyeshadow palettes give you a small number of mattes, so the base of your look is always pretty much the same. You don't get a lot of choices in your transition and your crease and your outer corner deepening colors. And usually they'll just give you three and the rest will be glitter or shimmer. Not this one. This one, I can see so many combinations of mattes that can go together as different types of bases for a look. And then they gave you shimmers and glitters, but enough contrast between them that you can pull totally different looks with those as well. This is a fantastically well curated color scheme. And you guys know how much I appreciate that because it is not easy to do. It takes additional research and development and attention to that detail. But not only can you get 
your daytime, your nighttime, your variety of looks out of this. Like you could take this as your only travel palette and get every look you need out of it, but they're all mix and matchable as well. And that takes a certain attention to undertones that not all companies bother to do. And so when I find a company that bothers to do it, I will buy their eyeshadow palettes because they're far more versatile they're, and the quality is beautiful. The mattes blended beautifully. The glitters nearly brought me to tears. <laughs> Ace Beauty, yes, this is beautiful. Bravo, such a fan. What else am I wearing? I am, like I mentioned, I'm testing that Revlon, the new Flex cover, Flex Wear full cover. It's the new version of their Color Stay concealer. I'm liking it so far. I'm also wearing Forget the Filler. The cherry one, oh, from Lawless, so good. Um, mm, I tried a new brow uh, pen slash brow gel from Maybelline Build a Brow. Okay, I like it. The pen is nice, super fine tipped, like a marker type of a style. I'm not very good at using them, but I, I pulled it off. Then it's got the clear brow gel. I will say the brow gel is not quite holding up my brows all the way, the way that I can get the Lawless um, soft set brow gel to hold or the way the Jones Road holds on me. So it's not quite there and it's a little crunchy, but it's doing the trick. So I'm not mad at it, but I don't think it's gonna knock either one of those favorites off of their pedestal but it's nice. And if you don't need, like I have really heavy brows. I got a lot of brow hair. Thank goodness I got through the 90s without plucking them out. But uh, you might not need as much hold as I do. So if you don't, it's gonna be a contender, I think. It's nice, I like it. And I did try the Give Gwen Stefani's brand lipstick and I took it off because it was too warm for this look, but it's a really nice matte formula. I got it in my Ipsy. This shade is Lovable Me, and it was a super nice nude. I'll just give you a little swatch here. A little too warm for this look, but I will definitely be wearing this. It went on beautifully, and I liked it. And is that all the things I'm wearing? My mascara. No, I just can't remember anything today. Rare Beauty also got this out of my Ipsy. It is the Universal Volumizing Mascara. Ah, uh, it's got a straight wand. I prefer a curved wand, but it does have lots and lots of bristles, which I like. I think the look of it is just your basic everyday mascara. I like a little more drama and a little more depth at the root, which kind of requires a certain brush to get that. Uh, but as an everyday mascara, I think it looks very nice. And I think that's all the things. I am wearing CoverGirl for my waterline, the Perfect Point Plus. It doesn't hold up all day long on me, but it's easy to apply and it holds up most of the day, so I'm gonna give it an okay. All right, there's all the things. Gotta go get a sandwich. I'm going to do my best to remember to get a daylight check-in while I'm out in the world. And uh, then I'll come back tonight, give you guys my final thoughts. Daylight check-in, it is basically sunset, so... You know, the shade's not as light as I thought it was. You know? What was that in my hair? I don't know. Here's how it is up close. I have not gotten a good look at it myself. And right now it is 6.04. So, I will see it when I'm editing. <laughs> and I will see it up close in the mirror tonight when we wrap this one up. But there you go. Oh, it's going to snow again on Friday. That's what I heard. Which to you is, it's probably, in your time, it's probably snowing right now. Because that's when you're going to see this. I'm so sick of winter. Let's let's be done. Let's be done, okay? No more winter. How about that? All right, I'll be back tonight. 9 at 36 p.m. I think that puts us somewhere around the eight-hour mark. I don't exactly remember. 
you know, let's see how the Maybelline eraser treatment makeup held up. Um, settled a bit into my deepest lines. It's not degrading super gracefully. I mean, it hasn't been that long of a day and I did have to blow my nose. So I'm missing product on my nose, but I think it would have done the polka dot pores thing that it's doing had I even not had to blow my nose. Um, I think the blurring of pores and texture is about the same as it was, but like my chin has polka dot pores happening. It's really came, it moved around on my upper lip, so it's really not looking great there. Blush bronzer highlight are still intact, but it just doesn't look good. It's not terrible, but it's not, I don't, I wouldn't wear it again, you know? So if I had to give a grade, oh, I forgot. Let me zoom you guys in. Let's zoom in. <laughs> You're gonna have to sit on the edge of your seat for the grade. Yeah, so here's the nose situation going on here. I mean, yes, the, the, my nostrils are missing product because I blew my nose, but you know, the bridge of my nose is not looking good. It's kind of caking up on there and, and even in between my eyebrows is like caked up a bit. Moving down chin, I've lost a ton of coverage, but it's not that it disappeared. It's that it kind of just settled into a bunch of my pores, which I don't think I have particularly large pores on my chin. Uh, settled into the deeper chin lines. Like I said earlier, I'm missing coverage on my smile line where I was trying to touch and, and smooth out the product that was gathering there earlier. Uh, yeah, I just, uh, yeah, it does, it just, it sits on the skin a bit, doesn't really, it's not doing me any favors. That's, that's kind of the, the nutshell. It's not doing me any favors. It's not doing me like super dirty, but it is not doing me any favors. Okay, so if I had to give a grade to the Maybelline Eraser treatment makeup, you know, it's disappointing because the Instant Age Rewind concealer is really nice on my under eyes. Uh, but this one I don't like. I do not like it. I'm, I'm going to give it a D plus. I'd call it below average, but it's... It's probably close to average. My standards, having tried so many really good foundations at this point in my life, I probably have slightly higher standards than I might have otherwise, but yeah, I can't get behind this one. Sorry, Maybelline, but I will say this perfume oil that was in my Ipsy smells so good and it still smells amazing and I need to show you. I don't know how to say this. Maison Louis Marie, number 13. Nouvelle Vague, Vogue? I'm, I'm not getting Sherlock out. I can't read it. Maybe you can. It smells amazing. That's all I have to say about that. That was in the icon box that was curated by Gwen Stefani, who I also adore. All right. There you have it. Sorry, Maybelline. I'm gonna go D plus. Not gonna be, not gonna be my favorite. As always, <laughs> what should I try next? Let me know in the comments. What drugstore launches have you heard are coming? Like, what do I need to keep my eyes out for? Let me know down below. I also have a new worksheet for tracking and planning out your skincare routine. I will link it in the description box if you are interested. And as always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. I appreciate your time and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.